In NBA 2K21, should greens only drop? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment section. Yo, what is good, Lockmoke Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger. So, we haven't really got much NBA 2K21 news, but Mike Wang, Alexis Morgan, LD2K, and Agent Double Zero got together to discuss some 2K21, and it was enough to get Twitter buzzing with these hot debates. So it all started with Agent asking Mike Wang the big question, what is you and the devs focus for 2K21? And he responded with, How can we make the game fun? How can we make the game more fun? <laughs> Alright, well you know what? 2K20 was dreadful, or it's the current game, it is dreadful, it is extremely boring, and it's been boring pretty much all year. I mean, the demo was more fun than 2K20, but I mean, I'd rather dribble around with Fred Van Fleet than play 2K20 right now. How sad is that? I mean, this opens up another discussion. Do we take the full-on arcade approach, the full-on realistic approach, or try to balance out? Now, 2K16, I feel like was the perfect balance of realism and arcade, and it ended up being the best NBA 2K of all time. While 15, 17, full on arcade, yeah, super fun, but also extremely broken game mechanics, and we do not want that. I mean, there can be broken game mechanics either way, but I feel like there's more broken game mechanics in a full on arcade game, and that takes away from the skill gap. That's something we do not want. Now, 18, 19, and 20 were all extremely boring games. Yes, 19 is boring. If you played 2K's 11 through 17, you would know that 19 is not a fun game in comparison to those games. So 19 fans, deal with it. Speaking of fun and all that stuff, Agent actually touched on something that a lot of players have been discussing. This is something that I've been saying. A more fast-paced game is just better. It's more fun. NBA players, you know, they're super athletic. They're super fast. I mean, I've been there up close and personal at NBA games, so like by the tunnel, like fifth. No, like third row. Those guys are unbelievably quick, unbelievably fast. The way they move, it's just unbelievable. Obviously, the more fast, the more fun. 15, 16, 17, very fast paced games, and they were all fun. To be honest, 99 speed in 2K20 is just not that fast. It's not fast enough compared to the other 2Ks. So, Mike Wang asks Agent the big question. This idea of esports. You know, yeah, I know a lot of people complain about dice rolls and missing full whites. Like, do you think that's something we need to go like to the extreme with? What I'm scared of, I guess, is like we make Team Pro Am or something. Make it so that if you don't get a perfect release, you'll miss every single time. So Mike Wang pretty much said he doesn't like the rolling the dice thing, or like a lot of players complain about the rolling the dice thing, and he's scared for that in competitive games. So how do we fix that? His suggestion was, should we just let nothing but green drop and white's automatic misses? And this went crazy on Twitter as far as debating goes. Obviously, I could pull up every tweet. You know, people say, greens only, skill gap. And you know what? You got a pretty valid point. But then guys like Ticino, Joe knows, they gave their takes. And I think they're both pretty interesting. So... Let's read them. Alright, so the homie Ticino said, Make the park have casual gameplay sliders with whites going in more often, and make stage a true competitive arena where timing shots is everything. In all caps, PLEASE! Now, casual players and comp players are all happy and can live together on 2K in peace. Alright, so here's something that I've been wondering for pretty much ever. Every year, stages shooting sliders are way easier than parks. And stage is supposedly more competitive, you know, there's comp stage and all that. So why is it way easier to shoot in stage than park? Now, some people say latency, some say difficulty, who knows. But either way, even if there was no comp stage and whatever, in stage, there's VC at stake as opposed to park where you're just going in, you're just playing whoever, trying to wrap up. But stage, you got VC on the line. So yeah. The sliders, it should be harder to shoot and all that. I mean, stage, there should be a skill gap. And to be honest, there's not as much of a skill gap in stage as people think because of the way shooting sliders are. Even Pro-Am 3v3, you know, you're playing for rank and all that. 
and it's easier, way easier to greet in there. Now, connection, you know, there's only six people there and like a hundred people in the neighborhood, so that's a little more understandable. But still, it should be harder to shoot in Pro Am than the park. Either way, we're all competitors at the end of the day, whether we're casuals, decent, good, great, elite. You know, we're all competing, and you know, whites should drop less either way. So this next tweet from Joe knows, and Joe most certainly knows what he's talking about because this was the best take that I've seen on this topic. He said, if we're going to talk about whites, we have to differentiate whether we are discussing a mistimed white or a perfectly timed white that the game did not allow you to agree. These are two, in all caps, COMPLETELY different topics. Alright, so... I, Joe knows, if you see this video for whatever reason, I mean, I see you've been reacting to videos on your second channel, so you know, hey, but dude, I love that tweet because it is so true. Joe knows is the definition of a comp, competitive, sweat, whatever you call it, 95 win percent every year, but he's at a high level on every build in the book, so he definitely knows what he's talking about, and I think we can all agree on mistimed whites, you know, like earlys, lates, very earlys, very lates, should not go in. I don't care what anyone says. Flux for release, get that the hell out of the game. People with bad internet, get better internet. That badge needs to go. Those kind of releases should never go in. Now, perfectly timed whites that don't go green, I know exactly what it means. Now, casuals, look, most people play 2K are casuals. Most people watch 2K YouTube are casuals. I understand that. So casuals, let me explain something to you from, I guess I can consider myself a decent player. You know, I think I'm a little more than that, but you know what? I mostly play park, don't worry, play comp stage. So you know what? Fine, throw me in a decent category. But guess what? Decent players and up, they know when they green the shot. We, we all know our shots. So we know when we're greening the shot and when, you know, we're mistiming our shot. You know, we know when 2K is cheating us. So, now decent players and up, I know you're going to relate to this so much. Have we ever had games where we shot perfect, 100%, all greens, and then we shoot the same way from the same spots, and suddenly it's all white and we can't buy a damn make? I think it's a fact. 2K sometimes turns off the green window. They just want to screw us certain games for whatever reason. So if Mike Wang and the devs are serious, they need to seriously consider when they're all, I don't know what to call it, shot feedback or what, but sometimes it's wrong. Like there are times where it is green, but it doesn't register as a green. Like if it's green, it should go green. Not to mention there's early glitches now and 2K seriously needs to make sure that doesn't make it into 2K21. So here's my take. It doesn't matter what they do with shooting. You know, casuals are going to complain in the beginning and they're going to make shooting way easier, whether it's white strap more often or they're going to make the green window way bigger. If anything, green window bigger. I just hate seeing white strap. I mean, it is more casual, but at the same time, we need that skill gap. I mean, to have only green strap is a little extreme. Maybe in the stage in Pro Am, maybe have greens only drop there. Definitely the league and stage for sure. Just, you know, the league, playing for a championship, stage, VCs on the line. I get that, but in park, rack, cages, if cages comes back, it's not really necessary, you know? I mean, I'm indifferent. I mean, if it's only to wear greens drop, I would actually be okay with it. But if 2K chooses not to do it, it is what it is. We just gotta find ways to overcome the RNG. So what do you think? If you didn't comment in the beginning, comment now. Should only greens drop or should the full whites drop? Should 2K do something about full whites, you know, the perfectly timed whites? What do you think 2K should do? And you know what, give me some other suggestions about the game speed. Like what do you want to see in 2K21? I also got some videos on the end screen. You know, click one of those. Like the video if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. Road to 6K is on. And if there's any more 2K21 news, I will be right on top of it. But I am out. Peace.